So today we're going to be talking about what? KFON 3.1. So, through hell and high water, here we are. I went to Chinatown twice today looking for a KFON 3.1. Twice. Twice. I've called VapeRev and every other major reseller that I can think of. Some more than once. Um, it got to the point where, I mean, I had to have my family eat McDonald's on the way to Chinatown the second time the true vape to find out that the one that they had they sold but we have it and motherfucking I love it fucking love it got it home seven minutes later was vaping the dog shit out this bitch <sighs> my soul is at rest now I can relax. I should have been in bed hours ago. Because I got to wake up early. I don't even give a fuck. I don't even give a fuck. It's all worth it now. So. Uh, the build. Um, I would. I was going to throw it on my Pavari. I just didn't want to dick with it. Uh, I set up Williams. Wills. Whatever you want to call him. You know. I set up his K fund yesterday. Um, took me uh, about 10 minutes to set it up. Took me about an hour to actually get it working and functioning correctly. So um, I've kind of figured it out for the most part yesterday. Uh, I was at Will's house till 4 a.m. Uh, it was a long motherfucking night. We chain vape the shit out of his. Um, I can't even tell you the stress test that this man put it through. I've seen a K-Fun go through hell and high water. I'm pretty impressed with it. Retail, $175. My opinion, they're, they're worth $175. Uh, as far as people sign them for two, three hundred, dollars you get the fuck out of here. I guess two hundred dollars wasn't that bad. It's not that bad. Could be better, though. Could be like one seventy-five. So, uh, I did a 6 wrap of 30 gauge. Uh... Put it on the natural. Uh, I bought, I bought the K fun for the Podiac, um, but that is in between here in New York somewhere because it sat in fucking New York for I don't know six days. So it's coming, it's coming. So here we are. Let's have vape. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. 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 It's like dripping, but... Well, that happened to drip. <laughs> Fucking go figure that shit, huh? Mm. Now... Um, someone's actually already commented on the picture that I posted. Um, asked me if I was going to drop the air holes. Um, no. Uh, Philip does not believe in drilling shit out unless it is somewhat financially affordable, like a Nimbus. 60 bucks. I'll drill it out. I'm not going to drill that out stupid, but I'll drill it out. A $5 Chimbus, I will rape it with a drill. You know, $10 RDAs. I'll drill them. I'll pretty much fuck them up just because they're cheap enough to do that. However, with with the K fund, if you set it up right, I don't really feel as though you need to. Uh, granted, I mean I'm not. No, I mean I, I, I can't. A, a K fund is not going to be the pluming atomizer for you. If you set it up right, it is a great vape. It is an awesome vape. It is a consistent vape. And it's rebuildable. 
So not only do I get to play with it and tinker with it and keep on rebuilding it, it's virtually maintenance free. I, I get the flavor of dripping with, I mean, almost the essentials and ease of a cartomizer. That's, it's, that's fucking unbeatable to me. It's unbeatable. I can't even put a price on that. So, to shorten that really long question, I don't drill it out. I'm not going to drill it out. Um, I don't ever plan on my k on ever seeing a drill. So, no, I won't be drilling it out. Uh, maybe in the future. Maybe. I've only had this one in my possession for, I don't know, 30 minutes now. So, maybe in the future. Maybe if I do. I'm sure there'll be a video of it and it'll be posted. So, let's end this on a vape. Get on with it. Fucking delicious.